Matthew 24th chapter verse number 4 and 5 That's Matthew 24th chapter verse number 4 and 5 and it say and Jesus answered and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many what well, how many many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many for many shall come in my name saying I am Christ and shall deceive many. Ten reasons why you are deceived or, glory to God, been deceived by the spirit of deception. Ten reasons why you are deceived by the spirit of deception. And the number one reason why we don't read, we just, we, are, we just jump into instruction without, without reading. Yes, we sign peep, we sign paper with our reading. We don't read the Bible. We don't read the book of instruction. We want to believe everything that an orator, that a pastor, that a prophet, that a preacher have said. We don't read. That's why we are deceived, because we don't read. Second thing we do, we don't research the facts from the fable. There's so many fake people in the house of God. They're fake like a $2 bill. Hey, go to God. Why? They, they don't research. The church of Berea, they studied those things where the Paul was preaching the truth. And we don't research. We run to it and say amen. I don't say amen to everything. Because amen means that you're in agreement of what the person is saying. So if you say amen to lies, that means you believe the lie rather than the truth. My friend, number third thing, we don't remember what we have read because we don't have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will bring things back to your remembrance. We don't have the Holy Ghost. We got to shout. We got tongues, but we don't have the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Ghost make us remember. The fourth thing, we never ready for the rapture. The second coming, how people are ready. They're not ready for the second coming of the Lord. If you ask the people right now that's watching me, are you ready for the rapture? They say, well, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I might be ready. I don't know if I'm ready. How can you be ready? My friend, why are you a Christian if you're not ready for the rapture? The Bible says you're going to come a thief in the night. And guess what? You are deceived if you're not ready. Yes, you are deceived if you're not ready because people are ready. You ready to go back with the Lord. Why delay? Why procrastinate? Why put off when you can show off? Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Why put off and then show off and then miss out on the second coming of Christ? People are deceived. Yes, you are deceived because if you don't believe the Bible from Genesis or Revelation, you are deceived. You can't take out what you like and don't like about the Bible. You got to heed the whole scroll. God told a prophet, eat dung. And the prophet ate dung. As men dung, as, oh, as, as goat dung, as, as cow dung. Hey, glory to God. So I'm telling people, we got to be ready for the rapture. Are you ready for the rapture? Be honest to yourself. If you're not ready, get ready. Because he's coming. He's coming like a thief in the night. You can't stop a thief. He's going to come and take your stuff. I don't care if you got alarm in your house. I don't care if you got 10 locks on your door. The thief going to come in and going to take your stuff. Hey, glory to God. Number fifth thing, we don't know the real or the think it or the authentic. Hallelujah. From the make believe. We don't know the real thing. We don't know Jesus Christ. We don't know the real, will the real Jesus Christ stand? We, we will believe a fake Jesus than the real Jesus. The real Jesus don't have, he's not white. The real Jesus don't have white eyes or, or blue eyes or, or, or long hair. That's not the real Jesus. The real Jesus was a Jew. And Jews are not white. Hello. Jews are not, hallelujah, come on, are black. Jews are Jews. So if you got a white man in your house and say you are, it is Jesus, you are deceived. Hey, glory to God, you are deceived. You are the spirit of deception. Because Jesus is not a white man with blue eyes and long hair or a hippie. That's not Jesus. Authentic. Will a real Jesus take the stand? He said, I was wounded for our transgression, bruised 
for our iniquity. The chastisement of peace was upon him, and by his stripes, I'm healed. Hallelujah. At the name of Jesus. My friend, the real Jesus is not the picture on your wall. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Number six thing, we return or our, to, our, to our old habit too quickly. My friend, you don't need to, if, you, if you're in pressure or, or have stress, you don't go back to smoking. If you're in stress, you don't go back to drinking. If you're in stress, you don't go back to sexing. If you're in stress, you don't go to strip club. We're so easy to go back to our old habits. Let the pig go back to his vomit. My friend, I'm not a pig. I'm a person. I'm a person of being a Christian. So Christian don't go back to clubbing. Christian don't go, go back to cheating. Christian don't go back to the liquor bottle. Christian don't go back to the weed. Hallelujah. Amen. But we're so quick to return back to our old habit quickly. Number seven reason. We don't respect the holiness of God, but we respect Hollywood structure. We don't respect the, the holiness of God. God is holy. God say, be ye holy because I, the Lord thy God, is holy. We respect Hollywood. We want to be like Hollywood. We spend our time watching soap opera rather than spend our time on our knees and start in time studying the scripture. We respect Hollywood. We structure our life about Hollywood. And number eighth reason, we, we repeat things and become addicted. Yes, we repeat things. These are, these are 10 R's. Hey, glory to God. Let me, go, let me run over them so, so, so you might have missed one. We don't read. We don't research. We don't remember. We're not ready. We're not, we're not real. We don't return. We don't respect. And we don't, we repeat things. And number ninth reason, we don't repent. Hallelujah. The reason why we are deceived because we don't repent. If you're in a church and you don't feel convicted and you keep on sinning without saying you're sorry, Lord. Repent means to don't go back. Repent means that I made a 180 degree turn. Hallelujah. That's why God told, hallelujah, that, that I will shut the heaven that there be no rain. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn. You got to turn for good ways. Then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal the land. The only way God going to heal your land, you got to repent of your sin. Stop sinning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Repent means to stop. Ah, glory to God. God told Jonah, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and preach the wicked city. And Jonah, three-day journey to Jonah, and Jonah was preaching. And the people took heed from, the, from those that on the throne to the animals. And they repented to God, and God didn't send judgment upon Nineveh. America, you didn't repent of your homosexual. Repent of the abortion. Repent of the uh, transgender. Repent of the LGBTQ. Repent or else fire going to come on America or on the world. Hey, glory to God. I'm talking repent. Hallelujah. Ten reasons why you are deceived or in a spirit of deception. Hallelujah. And number ten reason, I'm gone, is that we don't resemble Christ. We don't look like Christ. Now when I say resemble Christ, resembling Christ means we do the right thing. Resembling Christ means we are holy. Resembling Christ means we don't look like the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We don't talk like the world. We don't act like the world. We don't dress like the world. We dress as becoming saint. I know it's not in the clothes, but saints don't wear clothes showing their anatomy. Saints don't sh wear clothes showing their breasts. Saints don't sh wear clothes showing their butt. Saints don't cuss. Saints don't smoke cigarettes. Saints don't smoke the weed. Saints don't drink, get drunk, and say you take a communion. You're lying on Christ. We resemble Christ. 
Hallelujah. Yes, resemble the light of the world. We are the salt of the world. But if the, the, if the salt has lost its savior, is good for nothing but to be trod under the feet of men. Hallelujah. Are you deceived? Come on, tell me. If you are deceived, you ought to go back and receive the real deal. The real deal is holiness. Hey, glory to God. Saints don't wear tattoos. Saints don't wear earring on your nose, your tongue, your lips, your breasts, your navel, your nipples. Come on, help me, Holy Ghost. If you are a saint, you don't mock yourself looking like Satan. Hey, glory to God. But you call yourself a saint. I'm a child of God. You ain't a child. You're a child of the devil. You're a child of Satan. You represent Satan. We ought to represent Christ. We ought to represent, glory to God, the King of kings and the Lord. Lord of Lord, we are priesthood. We are peculiar people. Hey, glory to God. A, a generation, my friend, called unto holiness. When Lot was in Sodom, oh, glory to God, I must say that. When Lot was in Sodom, Lot didn't do the thing that, that, was, that was happening in Sodom. In Sodom and Gomorrah, my friend, Sodom, glory to God, was an evil place. You might say it was full of homosexuals, so what? I'm telling you that Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah, but Lot say, I'm different. Lot say, I'm not going to do what they're doing, glory to God, hallelujah. I'm going to be different. I'm going to resemble Christ. And if you call yourself a Christian, you're to represent the anointing. You're to represent the King of King and the Lord of Lords. You ain't no Christian carrying a Bible. My friend, it's more than carrying a Bible. It's more than shouting. It's more than dressing. It's more than speaking in tongue. It's more than prophesying. It's more than preaching. You got to live the life of being a Christian. If you call yourself a Christian and wearing tight pants, if you call yourself a Christian when you wearing long hair, being a man, you got you got an earring in your ears and you're supposed to be a Christian, you know Christian. You you, uh, you 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 have the Babylon. Babylon the Great is falling and it's falling. My friend, you call yourself a Christian? Are you just like that? You ain't no Christian. You're a cur. You an ain't. But not a saint. We are to be different. We are in the world. But we are not of the world. Ah, come on. When, 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 when Samuel heard the bleeding of the sheep in, in his ears, he said, Saul, what is the bleeding of those sheep in my ears? You can tell the difference between a saint and an ain't. You can tell the difference because Samuel say, what is the bleeding in my ears? What is the sound of the sheep in my ears? God say, kill them all. And you kept back the good things. God say, kill them all. And you kept back Achan. God say, kill them all. He said, go get Achan. Achan. And God say, I would have kill them, massacre all of them. But you kept back the good one. God say, kill them all. What I'm saying, my friend, the Bible say, I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice, holy unto God, which is a reasonable servant, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. God wants your mind. God wants your mind, because if your mind is messed up, your whole body is messed up. Your whole Christian calling is messed up. You got to have the mind of Christ. Hey, glory to God, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. God wants your mind, and the devil wants your mind. The devil wants you to be like him. He wants you to go to church and sing and have sex. He wants to go to church and sing and, ev and do everything on the sun because he wants you to be like him. My friend, if you are a saint, you are different from the world. You don't act like the world. You don't talk like the world. You don't dress like the world. You don't go to club like the world. You don't go to concert with the world. My friend, the, ch the church now become a club. The church become a concert. The church is not a place of prayer anymore. It's a place where we play ground for Satan. But it's time to stop being deceived. It's time to stop being in deceived. My friend, the spirit of deception. It's right here in the 21st century. The spirit of deception. We run after things and not running after him. The Bible says, labor not for the meat that perish, 
but labor for the meat that endure to everlasting life. God wants you to labor for the meat. The meat is righteousness and holiness, sanctificationness, separationness. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you deceived? That's my prayer. That's my message. Are you? Come on, be honest. Are you deceived? Are you running after Trump rather than running after the truth? Are you running after Trump rather than running after Jesus Christ? Say, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Are you running the glory to God? Hallelujah. Are you deceived? If you are deceived, it's time for you to hear the truth. And the Bible says, and ye shall, shall know the truth, and the truth shall make. It is a it is a it is a set. Make you free. Are you deceived? That's my message. <laughs>